show you the recipe for fate mushroom pies. Really easy to do uh, and lovely for dinner. But first of all, you need to make your filling. So put a pan onto heat. And I'm just going to add about a tablespoon of oil. I've got a bit of olive oil here. And then leave that to go to get warm. And then you're going to add about a teaspoonful of butter. I've got 150 grams of chopped onion here. That goes in the pan. Keep the heat off quite high. Give them a stir. And I'm just going to leave those to cook for about four or five minutes until they soften. So they're nice and soft now and golden brown. So I'm just going to add 350 grams of sliced, thickly sliced chestnut mushrooms. Just throw those into the pan. Give them a stir. Now I'm keeping the heat up quite high so that any moisture that's going to come from these mushrooms will evaporate. So I'm going to looking for quite a nice dry mixture. I'm just going to leave them there for about another five minutes. And I'll stir them occasionally. So these are nicely reduced now. As you can see, there's no excess moisture in the pan. The onions are, and mushrooms are nicely cooked. So I'm just going to move the mixture to the side of the pan. I'm actually going to turn off the heat at this stage, so I haven't got any heat on there at all. And to this corner of the pan, I'm just going to add half a tea, about half a teaspoon of tomato puree and half a suitable vegetable stock cube. You only need a half of one because they are quite strong. This will just give it a bit of flavour. Just add it to there and then I'm going to add two tablespoons of water. And I'll just turn the heater on again. Nice and gently. So I'm just going to keep that moisture in this corner of the pan and I'm just going to stir that until it dissolves and blends in. As you can see the water is evaporating. So what you're going to be left with is a nice flavouring for the rest of the mushrooms and the, and the onions. It comes almost down to a kind of a syrup consistency. That's exactly what I'm looking for. And I think that's, that's exactly how it should be, no thicker than that. What I'm just going to do now is just move the mushrooms around the pan so that flavouring all gets mixed up, mixed in and blended well. I'm going to turn off the heat now. The only other ingredient to go in there is a bit of black pepper and you want to quite a generous grinding of black pepper. I don't add any salt to this because there's enough salt in the um, in the in the stock cube, so no need to add any salt. Just a bit of black pepper, and then you just want to take them out of the frying pan and place them into a bowl, and they just get left on the side to cool while you make your pastry. Weigh 250 grams of fake low protein all purpose mix into a mixing bowl. Add 125 grams of block margarine. Using your hands, rub the margarine into the fate mix until it resembles fine breadcrumbs. Shake the bowl to see any lumps of margarine that you've missed. Continue to rub in until it resembles coarse breadcrumbs and a handful will hold when squeezed. Season with salt and pepper. Stir in two teaspoonfuls of dried parsley. Measure 60 ml of cold water. Use a metal spoon to bring it all together into a creamy mixture. Leave to rest for a couple of minutes. Sprinkle the work surface with a little fate all-purpose mix and turn the pastry out. Gently knead a few times until smooth. 
Roll out to 5 mm thick. So for the mushroom pies, I like to use a Yorkshire pudding tray, one of the larger ones, and with this recipe you're going to make four. So you need to cut out eight equally sized pieces of pastry, circles of pastry, and there aren't that many biscuit cutters really that are large enough to do that. So I suggest you just find a little dish or a little saucer or a lid off a plastic tub or something like that, which will measure probably about four and a half inches in diameter, about 11 or 12 centimetres. And you just want to place it down on your pastry and use a knife and just roughly cut out a circle of pastry. And then very gently place it into the tray. And then when you've done two, when you've got two circles of pastry, you can actually put a pie together. Just take some of your cooled filling and then with a little bit of water, take your top piece of pastry little bit of water on your finger and just moisten the edge. This will help the pastry stick to the bottom and then just place it on top and then just press down the edge very, very gently. Just make sure those edges are together. And then they won't come apart when they cook. And then you carry on with the rest of the pastry. And then with a small knife, just make two little holes in the top, just to let any steam out while they're baking. And they go straight into a preheated oven for about 20 to 30 minutes. And that's gas mark six, 200 degrees. I think the pies are cooked now. So I'm just going to take them out of the oven and as you can see they're nicely browned and I think the bottom should be should be cooked because you, you should be able yeah you should be able to just turn the pies yeah that means the pastry at the bottom is, is done I'm just going to leave them in the tin now for about four or five minutes to cool before turning them out so I'm just going to remove them from the tin and just put them onto a cooling rack to cool. They smell absolutely delicious. And they're, they're, per they're perfect for dinner. That's fate mushroom pie.